Did you know that suicide is the 10th leading cause of death in the U.S. for all ages? Hello, I am Simone and I am a suicide survivor. To all of my suicide survivors, I want to say I love you. I'm so proud of you and I'm so happy you're still here. I'm so happy we're still here. During my time of battling with depression, suicide was the hardest thing for me to overcome and break. Every time I got to the lowest point in my life, I feel like I couldn't do it. I wasn't doing enough. I wasn't loved. No one cared about me. I just, I had to finish what I had started. God, you didn't let me die, die then, but I'm going to finish it now. Every time I got to my lowest point, all I wanted to do was it to be gone. I just wanted to be free. But in overcoming suicidal thoughts, suicidal attempts, it is my greatest accomplishment in my life. Being completely honest and transparent, August 9th last year, I relapsed. I was at one of the lowest points in my life. But during that, during that moment, I, I noticed that it wasn't like any other time I felt suicidal. There was a fight, there was a battle. It was, I'm tired, I don't wanna be here. But it was also Simone. No, we've overcome this. No, we're not going back to this. And I can truly wholeheartedly say, ever since August 2021, the stronghold has been broken through prayer, through therapy, and through truly acknowledging my triggers and Retracing my life. I can say I am free. So to anyone who is battling with suicidal thoughts, suicidal attempts, I just want to say that you are not alone. You are loved. You are valued. Your life has so much meaning and we need you. We need you. What you're going through right now is not the end. I know it's not easy. And I, 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 I know it doesn't look like it's going to get better. But I am living proof to tell you that it is. It will get better. You will get better. And your life has value. To my suicide survivors, I love you. Continue to live your life with value and know that where you and I are needed. We are needed. And to people that may know someone that suffers from depression or suicide, please, please reach out. You don't even have to say anything about it. Just be there. Listen to them. Ask them how they are doing. If something seems off, go visit them. Take them somewhere. But don't make them feel worse than how they feel. Be present but don't be a burden. I know as family, as friend and friends, we wanna show that we care and that they're not alone. But in that moment, in that time, in that space, they just need you to be there. They just need to feel you there. Your presence, your love, your support, and nothing more. Also, God in therapy is very doable. That's how I 
overcame. And please remember, you never know how many people are battling with depression or suicide. People smile daily and are dying on the inside. So be kind, show love, show grace, and show mercy. If you're ever feeling down or feeling like there's nothing left for you to do, you're just tired and you're done, you can reach out to me. I will leave the suicide hotline number that you could call or text and other resources that are available. But don't feel like you have to go at this alone because you don't. You are not alone. Those thoughts are making you feel like you are in that moment, but you are not alone. We are all here with you and for you. I love you. God loves you. And you're amazing.